the questions get harder. The questions get harder after this. Seven. Seven. And that puts you in uh, high school and college. <laughs> what grade does it put you in? First. What do you like? Mm -hmm. Spin around. Don't look ahead of me. Are you okay? Are you nervous? Why are you nervous? I'm not. Go. <laughs> yep, that's me. And that right there, that's my dad. But all of this almost never happened, you know. My dad almost took a different path. My name is Robert Steedman, and I've been in education for close to 27 years if you count janitorial experience. So I grew up very, education was not a big thing in our family. It just didn't exist. Um, back in the day, my parents were like, my dad would say, you can go to Kodak or you can work in a factory. And neither one of them went on to higher education. As a matter of fact, one of them didn't even, my father didn't even graduate high school because of circumstances in his life. So, although they appreciated education, I really didn't have any goals. So I grew up really goalless up until, oh Lord, it was my late 20s. Around my late 20s, life changed. I actually got sober. When I finally got sober, I was like 10 years behind everybody because I had just wasted 10 years of my life drinking. And I began to seriously think what I could do. Now, if I listened to my mama, she said you should be in education, but she told me that when I was 20. I just couldn't see myself teaching kids at that age. And originally, I loved filmmaking. I was in um, production design. I, I, didn't, I didn't really like going on stage. I really liked designing stuff. So I just kind of fell in, as, in high school designing theater sets. I just, I just loved it. It was big, sculptural. You're actually designing gigantic stuff that people are going to walk through. It's one of those things like, well, go f if you're going to do, go dream big. So I applied to the American Film Institute out in California and got accepted, which is like, they only accept like 7% of applicants uh, based on my portfolio because I'd done theater work before and some done some local commercial work with a buddy who ran a, a video business. But it just wasn't what I wanted in the long run either. I didn't really want to live the LA scene. So yeah, that was sort of the path, but after I went to LA and decided I didn't want to do it, that kind of nixed it. And then I was really lost because I didn't know what I was going to do. So I went on and uh, I ran a business for a while, a graphic design business. I was living in a, a small community in Livingston County and um, we would meet with businessmen that needed a logo design or and uh, they need sort of like a, back then I guess it would be like, you were the social media campaign. You create a logo, you kind of, you create a look that you know is gonna go on billboards, letterheads. So working with small people like that was great, but at the same time, small, small businesses didn't want to pay. It just, it just didn't take. It wasn't part of me. It wasn't what I wanted to do in the long run. Cost was part of it, and I decided, well, if I'm going to spend a lot of money on business for that, I'd rather invest thirty thirty thousand dollars or so on my education than go on and get a master's. I met my wife uh, prior when I was just at that point of quitting graphic design, and I was looking to go back to school and. Thankfully, she allowed me to do that in the relationship. You know, we were, we were dating and I just had to do it for myself. I just had to find that career path. And as coincidence was, she was a teacher also. You know, at the time she was going for education and um, I just happened to come around and round that direction also. So it kind of flowed together in the long run very nicely, the two of us with our career paths. Finally, I decided I was gonna be an art therapist at Nazareth College in Rochester. And I found as I was doing the art therapy, working with kids, that I wanted to more teach, that I wanted to do therapy. And by happenstance, uh, NAS offers education, in art education. So that's what started me. So I, I went for art education and uh, never looked back. So there's this book out by, um, give me a minute, by Joseph Campbell called uh, The Power of Myth. And there's one quote, follow your bliss, which means 
if you want to play baseball and you want to be a professional baseball player, and he uses this as an example, do it. You may not end up being a professional baseball player. You might play for Japan. You might end up coaching a little league, but you follow your bliss. And I think that's true of anything in life. Follow your bliss until the universe tells you that you're not going to go in that direction. But then you can say you tried and you did your best. So if you love something, follow it to see where it goes to that end. And if that doesn't work, follow the other bliss. I really don't regret going into production design, which was the, the job field that I thought I would like because I would never have the family I have, the business of film. A lot of times used up and you just can't. I don't think you can build your family life that easily. So no, I don't regret that. That's why I went in, education is just so good for building a family life.